welcome to skincare queen youtube channel in this video we are going to make our own baby wipe i know some of us sometimes we run out of baby wipe and uh, it's not fun at all if you're not used to the traditional way of uh, of cleaning your baby without her wipes it can be a really big mess so today i'll briefly show you how i make my own all natural baby wipe using organic ingredients and uh, safe non-toxic organic ingredients so the first thing we're going to need sorry about that the first thing we're going to need is paper towel you need a strong paper towel so any of this type that you know it's strong enough it's very useful so you're gonna get yourself a strong paper towel you should just have this at home it uh, saves you a lot of stress so after that the next thing you're going to need i'll mention them one by one and keep in mind you don't really have to have everything just make sure you have some of them and i'm going to mention the most important one for you to have as time goes on so you're going to need distilled water distilled water you can pick that up at any supermarket so i have a distilled i have distilled water in here so then you're going to need aloe vera gel aloe vera gel is very essential as an antioxidant and it can um, moisturize your uh, baby skin then you're going to need liquid castile soap or any natural soap today i'm going to use uh, avino baby soap is a wash and shampoo lightly scented soap with natural oats extract i'm going to use this so before i'm um, there i'm going to need a witch hazel it's very essential this is one of the most important part of this uh this diet part thing so it's very very essential then you need grape seed fruit extract it's going to act as preservative because we are using water you want a situation whereby you want to preserve whatever that comes in contact with your baby's uh, sensitive skin so we're going to use grapefruit seed extract i'm going to put a link in the description box below for where you can get any of this also we're going to need tea tree essential oil and uh, lavender essential oil so i think that's basically what we need also you will need somewhere to keep your your wipe solution so you can label it or just make sure you you label it for your own safety so baby wipe solution the first thing then lastly we're going to need sweet almond oil uh you can use any other oil like a uh, olive oil or fractionated coconut oil coconut oil or olive oil will do but i'm going to use sweet almond oil because it's softening the skin and keeping you know clean and beautiful so first thing you want to do is you're going to need a uh, 500 ml of distilled water so 500 ml of distilled water i have a cup here measuring cup here too 500 ml is like uh i'm going to show you uh, i'm going to show you something now too this if you want to measure it this is 500 ml so like a bottle a uh, nestle bottle pure water so one of that okay but let it be distilled water mine is not complete so i'm going to get my distilled water to complete it to make it 500 ml perfect so the next thing we're going to do is to add our natural soap make sure you don't go overboard with this you want to just use it lightly you don't want too much soap in your before you go ahead i uh, encourage you to use uh, gloves especially when you are about to cut your your paper towels but let's just hold on to that so the first thing you want to do now is to add our soap okay i use one teaspoon a lot of people say one tablespoon no i use one teaspoon so one teaspoon of any natural soap, liquid castile soap will, will do, excuse me. So one teaspoon. 
so you mix it in inside there then we're going to go ahead with our aloe vera gel okay also we're going to use one the aloe vera gel here we're going to use one tablespoon okay not the green one please do not get the green one you want the pure one okay so we're going to use one tablespoon of that by the time you finish making this uh by the time you finish making this you will discover that it's actually more effective at cleaning than any other diaper solution out there it since i tried this i've never had to go back i love it i love everything i was even afraid my baby might you know have issue with with what i put here but no no not at all everything went perfectly well it's very very refreshing so then we're gonna go to witch hazel make sure it's alcohol free witch hazel so uh do not worry i have a link in the description box below from where you can get it so we we'll use one tablespoon of witch hazel distillate perfect if you want more you can use you can actually use two two tablespoons it won't affect your baby in any way okay just know that there's no alcohol in it so it's perfect so i'm using two i use two tablespoons of the chaser distillate so we continue mixing then we're going to go for our sweet almond oil sweet almond oil you want to use one teaspoon of tea sweet if you have olive oil also or fractionated coconut oil that works well also okay a friend of mine even suggested using fractionated coconut oil because uh, it mixes really well with water but do not forget use two tablespoons of witch hazel distillate okay so the next thing to do is to add our essential oil tea tree essential oil you don't want to overuse this so i'm going to use two uh two of this essential oil so i'm going to use uh, it's refreshing that's what i'm it refreshes and it kills germs it's uh and this anti i think anti-fungal so we're going to use eight drops okay eight drops of tea tree essential oil do not overuse this because it's very very effective then we're going to add lavender essential oil okay i'm using five drops of that of lavender essential oil do not worry i have the recipe and uh, make sure you mix each time you had this make sure you mix it very well also i'm going finally i'm going to add a uh, gray seed food extract it acts as the, as the preservative here is very important you want to keep your baby skin as you know uh, you want to protect your baby skin from contamination okay because we are using water it's very essential to use preservative this is not a strong preservative so it's very <coughs> Uh, it's very rec it's recommended for baby soft uh, and gentle skin. So we want to that we want to use um, ten drops, so just half, okay, half teaspoon. So just take your teaspoon and scoop half of it, just half of this teaspoon. Not too much. It's uh, it's strong enough to do its job. So half of it into the water it's water soluble so we won't have any problem with with that okay so we mix it as usual let's mix it very well if you have a whisk you can use it if you have a blender you can you can as well use it so finally we're done remember 
we use a um, 500 ml we use 500 ml of distilled water we use a uh, aloe vera gel we use with hazel alcohol free we use sweet almond oil you can use olive oil or fractionated coconut oil then we use grapefruit uh, seed extra as a preservative then we use essential oil we use tea tree and uh, lavender essential oil so then we mix it very well the next thing you want to do is to put it inside whatever case you're going to use to store to store your products okay so we're going to pour it please pardon me um, okay so I'm showing you all this because sometimes when you miss any of these steps uh, it, it may not be as effective as you want it okay so you want to do everything properly okay we avoid the mess okay so that's about it I'm gonna set this aside then finally when it's inside here you now do the final shaking okay do the final shaking to mix everything together remember we didn't use any emulsifier to mix the oil and water so we might have we have to do it uh, manually so perfect our next step now is important at this stage you need to use your gloves why because we're going to be coating we're going to be coating the tissue paper we will going to use i'm not going to cut everything but for this recipe you can use a roll okay just cut it now don't use like this this is too big you end up wasting a lot so just cut a couple of it uh, so you will have to uh, for the purpose of this video i will not cut everything because it's going to be waste a lot of time and uh, I know some of you might be like ah, this is taking forever oh you can just fast forward it to the next one um, I should have done this but I want you to see how I do it okay so you have it like this then you're going to cut it into two right make sure wherever you're using to cut it I have my alcohol here rubbing alcohol as you prepare alcohol make sure you spray it we want to keep our children's skin as safe as possible so that's why we are making sure you rub everything and making sure everything is clean okay yeah we protect the skin by all means that's our largest organ in the body and that of our vulnerable little ones so we cut it into two if you have now this is when you need your whole empty diaper bucket so like this one i have one from Orgiso. you open it make sure it's clean then we're going to put that the store we just cut we're going to put it inside then i still have some leftover here so first i'm going to put the leftover in okay then I take my bottle, shake it again. Anytime you want to use it, make sure you shake it well. And uh, you pour it over it. Okay. If if you finish, like I didn't use everything, just make sure you pour enough, okay, to saturate that. Uh, then you turn it over. This is why it's very essential for you to wear gloves. You don't want to be touching all this with your bare hand. Okay make sure you wear gloves okay all we want to make sure is to make sure it's absorbed it's properly absorbed and perfect and that's it this is your dapper all you have to do is anytime you want to use it right just let's open it up and uh, pick what you want to use it's very wet it's it's very suiting you discover here your 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 son and daughter we like this better than the the store bought one it's very effective it's suiting and you love the afterfill it's very suiting 
no stinging feeling it cleans very very well cleans very very and as a matter of fact it's very cold and you know just like it it's calming since i i've started using this i've never had to buy any stop any saw okay um, diaper whatever so this is how you make your diaper it's very simple the major ingredients like i told you before i'm going to do a bit of recap okay what i do mostly sometimes is just you know when i want to use it make sure i have my gloves on okay remember this all we use here are natural stuff they're no ash synthetic chemical so you want to make sure anytime you want to use it have a glove handy in your stick whatever you want to use and uh, that's it i hope you enjoy it but let me do a quick recap when you need a paper towel that you you know cut don't forget and you also cut it into two using whatever appeals to you okay i'm using the scissors in this case you cut it into two okay it's very important do not forget to wear your gloves at the stick then i'll show you everything we use we use with hazel distillate sweet almond oil the substitute for sweet almond oil you can use olive oil or you can use fractionated coconut oil or just regular coconut oil that's fine when we use aloe vera gel i use uh, avino baby i use just one teaspoon uh, one teaspoon and i use grapefruit seed extract as a preservative and uh, i use tea tree essential oil and i use lavender essential oil eight drops and five drops of lavender eight drops of tea tree five drops of lavender make sure you don't overdo it and that's pretty it and i use uh, distilled water this is the distilled water i use okay i use uh, 500 ml uh, you know th this diaper solution you don't have to worry you if you like you can keep it in the fridge but you don't really have to but if you feel more comfortable with that you can keep your but don't forget to label it baby wipe solution you can keep it so anytime your your child runs out of diaper just take this okay make sure it's a strong type paper towel just cut 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 um, and just dump it in the empty empty diaper bottle and that's it i hope your son or daughter enjoys this if you have any question feel free to drop it in the comment box below also there are um there are not a lot of substitute for uh which is the distillate this is the the queen ingredient here so you can really not substitute it so you need to chase this at least you need aloe vera gel you need grapefruit seed extract as a gentle natural um, preservative then if you have liquid castile soap you can use liquid castile soap but i'm using avino baby so you can use the same um, one teaspoon and that's it uh, if you have any question feel free to drop it in the comment box below i hope this video has helped you out uh don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos of how to take care of your skin as the name implies skincare queen is all about taking care of the skin and having a healthy beautiful radiant skin thank you so much don't forget to click the uh subscribe button below and the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos thanks for watching